Hey, what's going on guys? So in this video, we're gonna be playing Warwick Jungle. We're gonna be going a super like kind of power farming build. Uh, so let's do it. We're up against a Rengar jungle. Uh, runes are PTA, Triumph, Tenacity, Last Stand, Conditioning, and Revitalize. So the reason why we're going Conditioning and Revitalize is because we're gonna be going a pretty tanky build. So Conditioning is gonna give us a lot of value with that. So uh, the Rengar matchup is kind of easy to be honest like to, to 1v1 he can out farm us obviously most people can in the jungle uh as warwick but um killing rengar in a 1v1 is actually fairly easy so yeah that's what we're gonna try to do we're gonna go to our red and then we're gonna go straight to him at his uh blue he's probably gonna have already killed it but it's fine it's wishful thinking you know wishful thinking if you guys end up enjoying the video i'll appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up button down below. As well as the subscribe button. Okay, we got Tiamat. <laughs> we'll take that every day of the week, bro. Wow, okay, so let's go to our red buff right here. <laughs> we're gonna clear our red side jungle. Might as well kill our raptors first. Okay, so we're just on our raptors here. Uh, that is a pretty good lead that we just got. Don't expect that every game. I mean, we did die. Ringer got the assist as well, but whatever, it's fine. Um, yeah, so what we're doing is we're going Tiamat into Bami's Cinder. Uh, the whole point of this is that you're getting a lot of farm whenever you're not really able to gank any lanes. That's the whole reasoning behind it. We're gonna go top and try to gank this Alawi while we have red buff. Do this. She's level three, or he's level three. I'm gonna put a point to my duck on my Q here. Alright. Take that. All I was doing there, yeah, like I figured I'm just gonna put put a point to my Q. Uh, I actually play a lot of Alawi, so I I mean there's not really much she could have done there either, but I know when to use my E. I wonder if she's gonna deal with the most amount of damage, etc. etc. So um, we could have gotten, like, we could have gotten to, uh, or gone to Scuttle. Ah, whatever, man. It is what it is. It's fine. Let's go. Let, let's just see if it's up. Because if it's up, we might as well take it. But I don't think it is. Yeah. So the bot Scuttle's probably gone, too. Damn. Oh, shit, bro. No, like the, that that's where you dot like leave, bro. Oh. Oh. Um Okay. Well I'm gonna push this wave out. My smite is like overlapping cooldown, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this little blast cone. I have no idea how I ended up getting that double. That's kind of insane to me, but oh well, we'll take it. We're gonna use this blast cone. Three, two, now. Three, two, now. Hurry up. 25. Come on. Where is. Thank you. Like, bro. Wait, this is still up. We could have. Oh my god, we could have started dragging this whole time. I just thought it was gonna be dead. Like, I thought the scuttle was gonna be dead. Oh well. Oh, well, that's why we went that path. Like, that's why we went here, because I thought the drag was going to be... Or Scuttle was going to be dead, so... Oh, well. Um, so, yeah, the reason why we started with Smite is because we had two charges of Smite, and we're going to be able to Smite it again to do the Execute. We're saving our Q. Our Q does about 200 damage. Okay, so there we go. We, have, we do have enough for Bami Cinder. So we're going to buy that right away. And then Boots. Bammy's boots, so I'm gonna start building into Titanic. Oops, there's the boots there. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna start building into, into Titanic. We're gonna go like the whole, the, the traditional Titanic and the Frostfire into Demonic's Embrace. Just a super, or we could just go something else and then Demonic's Embrace, Demonic's Embrace 4. It's good to go like Dead Man's third item. It's like a really uh, good item to get early on. 
do this. So yeah, Bammy's did an extra like 160 to that. Blue bot. Yeah, like as you can see, like every every tick of damage that Bammy's is doing here, it's nice, right? Like it adds up. Okay, I'm coming down bot here. This might be a kill. It's not warded. Okay, nice. I was gonna say. Would have sucked a lot if I didn't get that kill. Like if I didn't get uh, any kill there, but we got one. Mm, that's not up. Is this up? That is up. Very good. My Q is 270, so we're, we're gonna smite at like 700. We're just gonna keep autoing here. We're gonna smite at 700. Oh, I didn't smite it. I queued my mouse move. So I wasn't able to smite. Luckily, Ringer was in there. That would have been funny. Here we got his flash. Oh, that's awkward. Someone's low down bot. I'm just gonna flash over. It's fine. I was so greedy. Wait. Why are you, what do you, if he pings me, he has no idea what was happening to me. If he pings me, this Vigar, he has, he has no map awareness. If he doesn't, then that's fine. <laughs> kind of sucks that I had to flash, but it's because I was being greedy. Man, this is turning into a crazy snow logging. Crazy snowball game. We have enough for Titanic, which is disgusting. We're gonna hard carry this game, guys. This is like gold something. So I'm just showing you like this build ends up, it, it is a good build in any elo, but it's like a hard stomping, like low elo build. Uh, if you see my FPS drop here now, I'm just, Um, but yeah, like it, 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 this is like a super easy to play low elo build, but it's effective in all elos. Like you know, like you know what I mean. It's effective in every single elo. Titanic into, into Frostfire is just gross versus everybody. So. Ooh, nice. Oh wait, that's awkward. I guess we're gonna do this. This. We could buy a pink right now, but whatever. It's fine. Wow. Okay, yeah, so after Frostfire, Frostfire is so cheap. We're gonna go Deadmans, and then we're gonna go Demonics, and then we're gonna go Gargoyles. We're just going super tank, super tank. Or we could go Orc, Demonic, we'll see. We'll see how much resistances we have. How much resistances we'll have after conditioning and Frostfire. So this is gonna be up right now, yeah. Okay. We can insta-kill the Rengar, I think. But we're just gonna kill this, it's fine. Um, let's go down bot here. Let's W sniff, cage her. Oh, well, she flashed, that's fine. Oh my goodness. And that's another thing with this build. Since we have Triumph, we actually have a lot of sustain. Ah, oh, that's awkward. Sucks that she's not below 50, so I, I wasn't sniffing, but it's fine. Okay, so we're gonna go to drag, because Rengar's top. This is a free drag if I've ever seen one. This is a free dragon if I've ever seen one. Uh, yeah, so we're only uh, 400 gold away from Frostfire. Give me a massive spike. So we're gonna have Frostfire basically as we finish conditioning, like as conditioning procs the rune. Okay, didn't smite that properly, oh well. We're just gonna push out mid. 
It's a, it's a tank minion wave, and we can maybe grab a plate. That's warded. I'm gonna kill it later. Boom. Boom. Okay, so... Let's see. Well, we're not gonna be able to grab that plate. But we can grab this ward. And then our blue side jungle. Yeah. This bot lane's doing uh, really well. So yeah, we're just gonna grab our blue side jungle. Because this is gonna give us... Like, like I said, it's gonna give us our Frostfire. And then us getting Frostfire, now that conditioning's procs, like we're just gonna be super tanky in the mid game. It already is mid game, but like more into the mid game, we're gonna be super tanky. We're just clearing our blue side. Cause there's no point just killing blue and then backing. Uh, nah, like we're here. Finish the clear, guys. Like this is such a common thing I see. I don't understand. Like finish the clear. You're already here. Just kill your blue side entirely so you don't have to worry about it. So those are gonna die to the dots. Okay, so let's grab this. We're gonna have like almost, not 100, but we're gonna have like almost uh, like 90-ish MR. Yeah, 80 MR right now, pretty good. 103 armor, nice guys. With only two items right now, and only one of them gives resistances, we're at 100 armor and 80 MR. That's, uh, that's pretty nice if you ask me, that is pretty nice. What, I can't click this guys, holy. Pretty nice if you ask me, and like the whole point of this, right, is you're so tanky to the point where even if you fall behind, which chances are if you're going this build, you're gonna scale into like a frontline team fighting champion anyway, then you end up being tanky. So if you get a pick or you do whatever, then it's, it ends up being really, really well for your team. Okay, so Alawi's just gonna keep pushing here. She's trying to do Alawi things, but she doesn't even have Hallbreaker at 10 minutes or 13 minutes. Yeah, whenever Lowey's too behind, she can't do anything. It's just the reality of it. That's just the reality of it. This is an absolute stomp, guys. I don't know. I don't know what's happening here, but. <laughs> so we are going to go dead man's. Warwick deals a lot of uh, damage in like the mid and early game without any items, so. Going dead man's is just gonna give us extra tankiness and honestly a lot more mobility around the map, which is huge. You could also go spirit visage, but we're gonna go we're gonna go dead man's. So we got our moon stone or moon plate. We picked up another cloth armor because like I said, we're going towards dead man's. So after dead man's now we're gonna go uh, demonics. That's just gonna give us a lot of damage, like a ton. It's kind of deceiving how much damage you get whenever you build demonics. And your jungle clear speed amps up a ton once you get Frostfire as well, as well as Demonics. Yeah, I'll we'll take that. Look how tanky I'm, bro. Like, I'm still 80% HP. Jeez. Jeez. Yeah, this is like, it's such a good build. I've always liked this build. We're, we're just waiting for this. I've always liked this build, man. Like, it's such an easy build. It's cheap as well, because Frostfire... I mean, Titanic's expensive, but Frostfire is cheap. It's only 2800 And, uh... You just get a lot out of it. The stats on Deadmans are okay. Like, having... Like, it's only 300 armor. Like, or 300 HP, 45 armor. So you actually only gain... Like, you don't gain any health off of this because 150 150 this is that's why it's 300 you only gain five armor so literally building this item the only thing that you get is five armor and the passive but the passive is is nice like it is good so that's why we're uh that's why we're building it because the 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 passive item of it is good and it isn't too too expensive 20 2900 isn't it's not you know breaking the bank I want the kill. Oh, rip. See, I should have just ulted. But I would, didn't want to be greedy, and then I'm like, I want the kill, and then go figure. Wait. Okay. We're gonna auto this. Yeah. We have drag up. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm on my way to drag. That was a misplay. I wasn't paying attention. Well, I'm not worried about 
that, bro. I'd rather just get drag. Because this is giving us extra tankiness, 6% armor and MR uh, mountain drag. So that is why I want to get it. Tankiness is a lovely thing. Look at that, our blue buff's about to spawn too. There we go. So now we have our dead mans after this blue buff. And then our movement speed is going to be, like, we're going to be zooming around the map, which is huge. Max W plus dead man's movement speed. Pretty effective. Okay, so let's grab that. So we're sniffing now that we got dead man's. Our movement speed, well, we get an extra 85 without any boots. Like, once this is fully stacked, we have 85 movement speed. Dead man's plus the, boot, the tier 1 boots. Okay. You're dead, mate. You're dead, mate. You're dead, mate. Oh my god, I was like messing up my uh, autos. I thought I was gonna miss that tank. Okay, no, you gotta... Nami, that was such a... Bad thing to do. Yeah, like we're just so fast with this build. And whenever we like auto someone, they're slowed by what, 50%? Yeah, 50% for one second. Like that's pretty gross. Pretty gross. Cause then, and then also like our first hit deals more damage too, which is obviously really nice. Deals an extra 141 physical damage. Okay. All right, let's uh, back, we'll pick up tier two boots. We're gonna go with, mm, ah. let's go with steel caps. We'll go steel caps and then we'll go, all right, you know what? Now nah, we'll go Merc treads and we'll go this. You know what? Nah, let's go this. <laughs> For the lols. Okay, so we're just clearing our red side jungle really quickly. We have a lot of... Look at that. 180 armor. 120 MR. They just aced the enemy team. Oh, wait. Tyke is going to be upset. That the Quadra or the Penta is just taken. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. The game's probably over if they don't have F. The thing is, right, they do have a gross team. It's just their team isn't playing up to where their champions could be gross. You know what I mean? Like, Alawi's griefing, so she's not able to do anything. Lilia, like, is too long, like, takes too long to turn into, like, that support with Moonstone. Because Lilia support's actually a pretty fun, like, I wouldn't necessarily do it in rank. Uh, but it's a pretty fun, like, build to play with, like, your buddies, right? Because you go Moonstone, the dot is constantly ticking on people. Like, like your Lilia passive is always ticking on people. And then Moonstone's just always healing you, like, your your team. And it's just, it's, it's fun, right? So. Okay, let's keep going here. And grab this Scuttle. We are 1,400 away from Demonics. They might go Baron, I mean, maybe. If they go Baron, then we'll just W here to see if they're on it. Yeah, they are on it. Oh, I was really trying to... Damn, that's okay. That's okay. I tried. <laughs> I tried. Uh, so we have this and there. Oh, no. We are full items. Yeah. All right. Well, we're 600 gold away from that. Not bad. We're at 180 armor, 120 MR. Once we get demonics, we're going to have a lot of extra damage, guys. Like a ton. Warwick's Q is 100% AP scaling. And his, alt or his passive has 10%. Right? So, like, that's decent. 
these, and nothing crazy. 10% scaling isn't much, but it is nice because it effectively gives her ult at 30% scaling. Because her ult applies the on hit three times, you know what I mean? So. Just want to finish this demonics, man. We're going to have a lot of AP off of this. A lot of AP off of finishing demonics. Commit to the holding queue, guys. Commit to it. So we have the Monix now. We're going to grab it. Really quickly, we're going to grab it. I'll go top. I will go top. I will go top. Okay, because so, we still have our ult, right? So we're actually completely fine. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Bingo. So we have a bunch of extra AP. Now, this item is giving us almost 100 AP. Basically, 100 AP. So she's dead. I'm gonna W to sniff on this guy. Oh my god, these stupid tentacles, man. Where are you going? Oh, he recalled. Yeah, nice. He w over the wall and recalled. Uh, yeah, so right now our Q is doing 331 base plus 10% extra of their health. Look at this. Look at the damage we're dealing, guys. It's kind of gross. Okay. Because we're dealing an extra 2% of their max HP every second for 4 seconds. And that procs off of Demonics. So, where is he? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh. Rip. We could go, uh, what's it called? Gargoyles and just be an absolute unit. Dip because they're all there. Nice, I wasn't thinking that was died of the soul. Okay. I mean, we'll take that. We will take that. I didn't mean to use my oracles. I'm trying to get rid of his spell shield, bro. Okay. While I was getting Lilia ulted, I just ulted. Okay, nice. That was a good GP ult. So we're actually like almost oom, so we do have to be careful. Like our Q is 90 mana. <laughs> you can use that pretty, pretty easily. Look at that. Look at that damage we did on the Alawi right there. Okay, let's do this. Q, do some damage here. Okay, I'm like, alright, bro, let's just I'm having enough of you. I'm having enough of you, bro. And you. All of you. Alright, boys. That was a fun one, and we dragged it out quite a bit, but I just wanted to showcase it. So, if you guys know the video, oh, look at that, they did 520 damage. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up down below. If you want to see more content from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Other than that, thank you for watching. Hurry up. Peace.